I'm going to ask her, Dr. Sodhi, that, you know, globally, what is everyone seeing as the challenges to all of this? What are they thinking? Look at how things are manufactured. So my background is also in manufacturing. What happens in manufacturing today is you have materials come into a manufacturing system, they get manufactured, and there is amazing efficiency in manufacturing. The tools that are deployed for manufacturing, they range from artificial intelligence to complex optimization to whatever you call it, it is being deployed. And what comes out is a product that is very cheap. And it becomes cheaper every year. Now, let us think of closing that loop. The, if you don't have the same efficiency of planning in the reverse loop, you're talking about a cheap product that you're trying to take back at an expensive rate, it is not gonna work. So if circular economies have to work, the reverse loop has to work with the same efficiency that the forward loop has to, is working at. And that's not easy. The biggest problem is the geographical distribution. So when products are made, they go through their production system and are sent out to service providers like shops and then are bought by consumers and are distributed geographically, how do you put everything back together again? How do you concentrate material? That is the one key problem. If one can overcome that, then there is some possibility of making the reverse stream feasible or viable. And that's where organizations like Chintan, where India has established organizations for taking back material, that's important. In the US, they didn't have that, but they're starting new ways of bringing back material. But that really is, logistically, that is the toughest problem. The second problem is, when you bring back the material, is it sorted? And we heard Justice Quill talk about it. The material has to be triaged and it has to be sorted. Now, Again, organizations like Chintan can produce, can take jobs, can make jobs in the sortation phase. Other factors that are important are you have to engage the community. If you do not engage the community, your reverse stream will not work. And how do you engage the community? So, well, how did you engage the community for recycling? In Initially, people through recycling and and waste together, you ask the community, please separate it. And they did. So that's one level of engagement. Another level of engagement was, please separate your glass from your metals. And the community did that. We have to find creative ways of asking the community to contribute to sorting material. Because if material is sorted, it becomes valuable. If you have to take a product that was made by machines at the rate of 100 per minute, and take it apart at the rate of one a minute, there is no symmetry. It has to be a symmetric operation. And if it is not, it's not going to work. So those few things are critical. The, another issue that was talked about, uh, Sri Jain mentioned it, was the volatile market for materials. So um, materials, uh, virgin materials change in price. And the business model for recycled materials requires some stability. We may not have that. But Again, we need to think of how we can do something to provide that stability. And there are many more issues, but, but again, in the collection phase, getting the material, operational efficiency is vital for making CEs work.